your boy darkness i'm back i know it's been a long time coming um but i got some i got some quality videos coming up hopefully audio is better it's a new year and i'm trying to come back strong man so what we got today i got a couple ps4 accessories for you i see how y'all liked that before so let's see if we can get this going back again so first we're gonna start off with the usb hub Reason why I'm starting off with this, cause some of the, the gear that we do have, we're gonna need them extra ports. So let's see what we got here. All righty. We got one USB 3.0 and we got four USB 2.0s. So you plug this into the front of the PlayStation and now you got five ports instead of two. And this is by Dolby. Simple boxing, simple presentation. This is the LGA Adjust R for the PlayStation 4. Add volume control and mic mute to any headset. All right, you see that. Let's grab the unboxing knife. See what we got here. Ah. They don't make things easy no more. Okay. Pluck that to the side. So it's a little guy. Not real big. Got your volume knob here. Your mute on and mute off button here. So what it's gonna look like. Oh my, my controller's been a little dirty. You plug it in here. You plug your headset into here. Now you got full adjustable controls. You see that? All right. Let's move on to the next. The Mini 2.4 touchpad keyboard. These for all your little situations where you hate scrolling through the keypads with your controller and you know you just want to grab something and just and just go. So it has a touchpad. If you want to just roll it with your fingers, or you can type it. Alright, let's see what we got here. I don't see no tape. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. Just a scan code and a customer appreciation card. Owner's manual. I think we might be able to figure this out. Oh, that's the side. All right, let's look what we got here. Okay. So it comes with the unit itself, USB cable. And of course, a USB dongle, which is why I got the USB hub for. Let's see. Buttons are very clicky. You build on it. Uh, it's plastic, but it's, it's sturdy. I think it'll hold up over time. I like the clicky buttons. Feels good in the hands. It's almost like holding your, your cell phone at a horizontal angle. You hear that? Real clicky buttons. So 
So that's the Jelly Comb 2.4 gigahertz touch keypad. All right, let's file that to the side. See what we got next. So we got another keypad. This one is uh, by Nyko. This is a glow in the dark uh, key improved visibility touchpad. A rechargeable QWERTY chat pad with thumb uh, pad. Anything on the back? Nope. USB cable for charging. Then you got your controller base. Now this feels really cheap. Like plastic on it. But hey, let's grab another controller. See how this fits in here. So I'm supposed to plug into here. And slide on. Okay. Feels good in the hands. Mm, you feel weird having this little extra plastic on the back, but I mean it makes for oh yeah it makes oh man I like that. Let's see, oh yeah, let's see let's see how you turn it on. Okay, hit the on button here. Okay, we got a little juice. We got a little juice. Oh. Sound comes through the back. Let's see, let's see. What else can we do? I think we gotta link it up for the actual Bluetooth to work. But you have to go through the devices and set that up. And... All right, so I'm back. I read that wrong. It's glow in the dark, so it doesn't light up. So it glows in the dark, so you can uh, the keys will be more visible when you, you know, are playing in low light situations where you can see your keys better. But I mean, most of you people text, so you should already know how where all the keys are on the keyboard. All right, so that's that one, and we have one more well actually two more but it's one it's kind of combined into two so let's see what that is so what we got now we got two we got controller stands so I got these pretty much so I can have my controllers sitting you know in in show form versus you know just having them just laying down on a you know desk like that so let's uh let's open these up let's see what they look like we got two little stickies here. Right now. And we got one here. Got some good good packaging on this. Here's one. Let's open up the other one. So we can just have them both. So pretty much what you got, you got your two PlayStation rests. So you want them sitting on your desk, you know, just relaxing. You can, you know, plug it up, charge it up while it's sitting up. You can be lazy. And, you know, you can just scroll through your Amazon or your browser on the PlayStation, just holding it like this, sitting on the desk. But, uh, but yeah, it's kind of sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. I like it. And, uh, yeah. So, guys, that's it. I'm trying to improve on, uh, you know, how I present these. You know, I'm still new to this YouTube thing. And, uh... But yeah, so if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Tell me what kind of content you want to see. I got more content coming up. So uh, yeah, just remember, don't meet me there, beat me there. 
And this is Darkness 9020 signing out. Peace.